This DeBaco University video will tell you what to look for when diagnosing russet mites. However, we're going to toss it over to my student Connor and we're going to let him kind of guide you through what he looks for on cannabis plants when it comes to identifying russet mites. There's other videos on this on the channel and I'll put those in a link in the description. But for right now, let me turn over to Connor uh, to go over what to look for for russet mites. So on cannabis plants, what I personally look for on, on the new shoots of the, uh, the plant itself, on the new growth, um, I'll use like a low magnification uh, dissecting scope to really get in there, usually like one to two times. Um, and what I'm looking for is little tiny grub-like larvae, um, almost like, like a maggot that is covering the, the new growth ball that is... Um, forming on the plant. And you, what you'll actually see is not only just larvae, but you'll see a few adult, live, larger mites, almost look like spiders running around, kind of tending to the larvae and laying new larvae. Um, well, normally on like the, the small, like new buds that are forming, um, on the actual leaves, you'll, you'll see them too, especially in the internodes of the leaves, um, where the leaf actually connects to the, the stem of the, the plant itself. It's right there, that little green spot is where I find to be the, the highest traffic area. Um. So on the actual plant itself, um, these insects and their larvae are not that visible to the eye, but what you can see with your eyes is the damage that they cause to the actual plant. Um, I'll usually notice it on the lower leaves first, um, it'll be, as you can see here, this weird kind of off color um, green, almost like a tannish, burnt brown, orange color on the new nodes of um, bud growth. Plant. And, um, for example, on this branch right here, you can see this weird almost folding of the outer rim of the plant leaves um, on multiple occasions here. And even on the new growth, if you look, it's already coming in pre-folded. Um, I call this tacoing, and um, this is a true identi identicator of um, russet mites on hemp. And what you also notice when you have russets is a weird, odd discoloration of the um, initial new growth spots. Uh, almost like a tannish, even on this one too, you can see a tannish, almost burnt orangey tinge on the plants um, compared to, say, some nice green growth like over here. It's a lot more lighter green, almost a yellow. Bud growth. And you'll also notice on the leaves itself, some stippling and some damage. And that's caused by the larvae feeding on the actual plant structure itself. Uh, over here is another good example. You can see that how almost orange and burnt it is compared to a new healthy growth right here. Well, as you can see here on this healthy plant on my, in my left hand, we have nice straight internodes, nice healthy white, almost white green growth. But then you look over on the russet infected plant and the growth is not straight, it's curly, almost burnt. You see slight orange here on the internodes. And overall it just looks like there's something off about the plant. And on the, on the new growth up here, on the, on the healthy plant, look at how straight those leaves are. Very nice and help, healthy and uh, has a lot of pressure in them. But over here, almost getting wilt and curled leaves and the new growth and that's caused by once again the feeding of the larvae on the plant structure itself hindering our, our yield in the in the long run <laughs> 